Okay guys, I've drawn out my piece. Um, what I'm going to talk about today is expectations. It seems to be coming up a lot in my life lately, these days, and expectations are not good. At least not for me. They, um, I'm pretty good for a while, I go along for a while, everything's great and dandy, and then all of a sudden I expect something from either a situation or somebody, an experience, and I would say 99.9% .9 of the time I'm either let down or disappointed or it's not gone the way I expected it to, quote unquote. And um, I, it's a very human, human emotion, but it's something that I don't know how to avoid. I feel like it. Uh, I feel like that I've worked on it over and over and over again throughout my life. And I, I just feel like it repeats. And it, so it, I've had a, a tough time this week because I've had these expectations. And um, I, so it's kind of like I've been playing and experimenting, but actually coming up with an actual project has been difficult because I've been stuck in my head space about uh, things that have not been working out. So um, I thought, well, why am I going to beat myself up and try to figure out a fun project? And not that it's not going to be fun, but... Um, I think I'm going to work with what I know. They say work with what you know, write with what you experience, you know, write about your life experiences and art about your life experiences. So right now, because expectations is kind of like bright neon lights right now in my world, I'm going to do a piece on expectations. Um, I have a little trick that I'm going to do with a magic eraser boom, and some stencils. Some of you might know it, some of you might not, but it's going to be a watercolor piece and it's, yeah. Um, I'm hoping that by doing this, it becomes a cathartic experience for me and I work through some stuff and I have what I guess people, will, you know, an aha moment or a light at the end of the tunnel. It's not forever. I know that. And, you know, ebbs and flows throughout life as it does mine often. Um, and it's pretty rare that I get, you know, let down or disappointed by an expectation. But when it does happen, you know, you either are just disappointed or you go, oh, why did I let it happen again? So... Anyways, that's where we're going to go today. Um, yeah. So, I, I don't have much else to say. It's going to be probably, my words will be in the work. I hope you enjoy. I would love to see, I don't mean this to be a downer. I just m more mean this to be like reality. Because this is reality for a lot of people. Expectations. Expectations are huge. I think I might do on and off or in a row, I'm not sure, a whole series on emotions. Because... If you have been on my channel, if you're a member of my Next Generation Art Group on Facebook, you know that um, I'm an emotional girl, and good and bad, mostly good. I'm usually very happy most of the time, um, but I do connect to people. I love to connect people. I love people. I love having experiences and relationships emotional. I believe emotion and is a huge, connecting into that is very huge and intimate for um, me personally, and I think it's really important in the world, especially in a place today in this world where we're all too plugged in so and I'm just as guilty but I do really try to cultivate and nurture and embrace those relationships and those those experiences because they're really important to me um so yeah uh this piece is on expectations and what it looks like to walk around with expectations um it's not going to be a super joyous piece but I think it'll be a telling piece and fun and healing for me uh, I've talked about that a few times on my page that artwork is meant to be healing. I've never really been an artist who does a lot of emotional work, you know. Um, I do, I create beauty all the time. I'm very much about creating beauty and I'm, you know, inspired and driven by colors and textures and patterns and stuff and themes. Um, so I'd like to explore this and I'm going to take you guys with me. I'd like to explore this journey of working emotionally. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think you need to be smart about it. I think that before you start, you set your intention as to what it is that your piece is going to be about so that you're not firing off in a million different areas. And you know what? If you are, that's okay too. I would say put a notepad by you and write it down as you're working so you can connect to it later after you finish. But, um, yeah, I think this is actually really good. I think this is really good for me and hopefully for you as well. I hope that you take me up on it and do your version. If joy is what you're feeling in the moment, 
and happiness, then by all means, you don't have to do what I'm going to do, do a version of you in that moment. So explore your emotion. It doesn't have to be, I don't even know if, um, expectations are an emotion as more as a behavior I don't really know I'm just gonna depict what what the emotional side of it looks like for me and most people with expectations um, at, least, at least my version so anyways um, I love you guys if you'd like to continue with this page please subscribe click the button and the bell and don't forget to share um, yeah have a good day and happy arting bye Okay guys, here is the piece. Um, I finished it. I hope you like it. Um, I wanted to show you before the actual video, the making of it. These are supposed to be rocks. I wasn't really sure where I was going to go with it, but I knew that it was going to somehow, I wanted a heavy photo or heavy image because like I was saying earlier, expectations, they, they can weigh heavy a, a lot of the time. I really don't know any moments where expectations are joyful and fun. So, um, yeah, I think I succeeded. This is kind of a weight of expectations and the chaos that ensues once they're not met or until they're not met. The before, it's always the unknown, right, that gets you. So, yeah, um, I feel better. That was the whole goal. So, um, I'm really excited, actually. I, I, this is a new new venture for me this is a new way to express so I'm super excited about this believe it or not as somber as I sound right now but I am I'm actually really pleased with how this turned out and um, I think it depicts my topic beautifully and I honestly there's so many as I was working there's just so many things I'm like oh, I could have done this I could have done this like th there's so many possibilities to capture what expectations means to you. So I really hope that you take a minute and don't go, oh my gosh, that's too heavy. Just explore it. It doesn't even have to be, like I said earlier, it doesn't have to be expectations. It could be joy. If you're feeling joy, same idea. How would you depict that? If you're feeling sadness, how would you depict that? If you're feeling anger or grief or whatever, how would you depict it? So um, yeah, I think there's something here. Um, and I feel better. I do. I do feel better. So there's something to be said about art and therapy, art therapy and healing. So thanks for watching. Thanks for letting me venture into something new. So when I do things like this for myself, this is a little bit of self healing for me. And I don't feel I do that enough personally. Um, so this was good. This was good to have this come out of me and put down on paper. I do know that when I talk about stuff, um, I'm a huge proponent and believer in talking about it and getting off your chest because then it doesn't get a bajillion times bigger in your head and then you're left to answer all the blanks, you know, the what ifs, the blanks in your, the dialogue that's going in your head. So to do stuff like this, it actually, I can let it go and release it. So thank you. Please don't think I'm crazy. <laughs> Too late. Um, again, please subscribe and share and like and join us over at Next Generation Art on Facebook. It's an incredible community. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.
Thank you.